Living along a river like the Mississippi can bring the threat of flooding, but this season flowed quietly. Meteorologist Alyssa Triplett joins us to explain how even with drought conditions, some important adaptations help protect your favorite river activities. Alyssa? Well, thanks, Mike. And yes, I'm one that heads out to those riverways, and that boating season is critical for the Cooley region, like even areas of La Crosse. Now, we had that drought, but it didn't really pose a threat, and it's all thanks to one important river feature. This summer has been the lowest that I can remember. A dramatic turnaround from the floods of 2019. Now this river season did not meet historically low levels, but little to no sight of flooding made the Mississippi a big attraction. If you're a um, person that likes to uh, you know, hit sandbars, this would have been the perfect year for sandbar um, get-togethers. A common sight during those low river stages. But what happens is it's just like if you leave your smoothie out too long, um, all the, everything settles out, right? During low flows, we have really slow water and the sand and silt and all the particles in the water get a chance to settle. And so that's why you people were noticing more sand dunes. Drought conditions from northern Minnesota to our neck of the woods contributed to the low river season, but commercial and recreation continued due to the lock and dam system. These structures are used um, primarily today for a commercial but also uh, you know, private individual recreation. All that would be very, very difficult if the river was maybe two or three feet in depth. And that might've been the case this last year, especially. So that, that's really what the dams are for. They're for those low uh, flow years. Lock and dams are in place from St. Paul through St. Louis, dropping nearly 400 feet, creating a staircase of water. The lock and dams are kind of uh, different than uh, you know what people might think of as a traditional dam in that they, they just don't have a lot of storage. They have just enough uh, to allow for continued navigation in, in drought. Hydraulic engineers like Foshing are able to control how much water is moved between river sectors, or more commonly known as pools, which is crucial during low flow. As for high flow seasons, the system has little regulation on the river. They're not a flood control. They are a drought control structure. 